What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome back. If you're here before, I'm Neo Mushroom. Guy's here today. Hi. A very small fraction of you recognize Guy from something that happened. The with, before times. The before times. The, the grand majority of you will see this person and wonder who it is. This is my landlord. And he said he would <laughs> double my rent if I didn't agree to um, make him famous. I tried telling him that there's like six people who watch me. He shrugged his shoulders and said, it sounds like famous to me. We're playing pre-modern. Um, that means a couple of things and a little announcement at the beginning of the video. Pre-modern, we've done two videos with uh, Chris. I had him over and we played two pre-modern games and they did pretty well. They got a ton of interaction and engagement, which tells me that like, while there's a smaller group of you that want to consume pre-modern, the ones that want it, want it really bad. So we're gonna play, you've noticed in modern, we've been playing a deck for like three videos in a row versus other decks to kind of simulate that Magic the Gathering online experience. Uh, today, we'll be playing, I'll explain my deck in a moment, but I'm playing Psychotog, Blue Black Psychotog. And for the next two pre-modern videos after this, I will be playing, one of us will be playing Psychotog. However, if you're watching this on YouTube, I haven't decided whether it's gonna be one or two, but between one or two of the Psychotog videos in this series will not be made available. This is going to be a patron perk for patrons who have already signed up. A lot of those dudes want to see pre-modern content. So if you want to see more pre-modern content, engage in the comments. Let me know how many you want to see and how often you want to see it. Because um, I can't justify making too much of this, but I like the format so much, so I'm going to make some of it. Anyway, I'm playing Psychotog. What does that mean? You've seen me play Psychic Frog in Modern and us <laughs> a lot. And Psychotog's like the old Psychotog. There's two creatures in this deck besides Wonder, which gives everything flying. And it's Psychotog, who read it, it's on the screen. It works like Psychic Frog, but much, much worse. And then there's, uh, there's Finkel, AKA Shadow Mage Infiltrator. You'll notice that that is also just like Psychic Frog. It has evasion and draws a card every time it connects. How far we've come. How far we've come. Now we have to take both cards, put them together, and that would normally cost six, so it's Modern Shave Off four, cost two. <laughs> that's, that's what this deck does. The rest of it is counter magic the card gush which you just get to play in this format and stuff like that um if you want to see the list in detail it's in the description guys playing a cool deck i'm playing red black uh machine head slash insidious dreams combo yeah draco blast ish draco blast -ish. Yeah. it's like it's like our backup plan the core of the deck is like discard madness but instead of playing the rack we're uh we're sneakily trying to reveal a draco and deal 16 to our, my opponent while taxing their resources with like duresses and hippies the whole idea is like the Draco Blast combo is so fragile and falls to like any type of interaction. Yeah. But if your opponent's hellbent, that doesn't matter. Yeah. So you just go get it after you've dealt like five points of damage and put them in hellbent. Or hopefully they did it to themselves with some fetches. And you're, he's doing the dead guy L thing, you know, dark writ into hippie is pretty the, good. It's like the <laughs> best thing you can do in pre-modern. Yeah. My deck. Except uh, for playing a mountain and a goblin. True. Yeah, <laughs> very true. My deck actually can't deal with the hippie on turn one. Um, oh. I play like two copies of... Uh, the, what's the black? It, not exhumed. Put, put an image on the screen, Adrian. It's that one. It's the two mana remover thing. I love thing. that card. I've been playing too much pre -water. Smother. Smother. That's the one. Uh, we have to roll for first. Uh, uh, Six. Low roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, better than Adrian's. Rats. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. All right. Let's see what we got here. Four, five, one, two, six, three, seven. four, five, six, seven. Well, I have lands. I have the card Accumulated Knowledge, which I'm really excited to cast just in general, so I'll keep. I uh, I think this hand is actually okay. It's not the nuts, but it's got a curve. And uh, you know, what more can you ask for? Um, a winning line. <laughs> I'm going to play an island and pass to you. All right, I'll draw. All right, we're there. Um, let's go for a Swamp and Duress. All right, you see Cephalic Coliseum. You can ignore that. Here's my spells. Counterspell, counterspell gush, gush accumulated knowledge counterspell impulse ew yeah <laughs> does that Cephal does Cephal Calcium come to play tapped no it does not it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't you have two counterspells you motherfucker I do yeah. right, we'll, we'll get we'll get one of them all right counterspell's gone all right sweet is that it I assume that's it that's it you don't have any other mana they banned forcible in this format you can play contagion no targets all right we'll draw this card I'm actually not gonna hide it um, you know what I am I am gonna hide it because I need to be able to fetch for a swamp if I need it I mean, you know, but you don't know. I'll play a Cephalic Coliseum and pass. All right, I'll untap and draw. Uh, let's play a Mishra's Factory. Yeah. And we'll, man, I love this format so much. Yeah, it's the best. It's so much fun. I'll tap two for a Mesmeric Fiend. This is the, uh, what's that? It's basically brain, it's old brain maggot. Yeah. It's, or, or if you're, if you're a zoomer, it's exactly. a old deep cavern bat. Yeah. It's or deep. tide hollow scholar, <laughs> tide hollow scholar, or it's whatever. It's the deep cavern bat we have at home. Yeah. That one, it does work different. If you remove it, it works like old oblivion ring. Yes. Where like, if you remove it with its trigger on the stack, the thing it exiles is gone forever. So don't do that. Um, 
I could counter this. I think that I, I think that I will. Yes. I think that I will <laughs> counter it because yes. he's just gonna take counter spell with it anyway. <laughs> Are you done? I'm done. So is it hippie time draw? Here's a polluted delta. I'll pass to you. All right. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna fiddle around. Here's a Frexian arena. Frexian arena. I do have an out to this. I no. will uh, fetch. No. No. It's not in my hand. I have to find it. But I'm going to grab me a little swamp, which there's only three of in this deck because we play Gush, so we have so many basic islands. Uh, for those of you confused, uh, only the allied colored fetch lands are legal in pre-modern because pre-modern is the legality ranges from 1995 to 2003 and Onslaught is in there. So the allied colored uh, fetches are there. Now, if you're cool like me, you'll refuse to play anything but the original copies of the uh, allied fetches. Guy does have Bloodstained Myers that are new, but they're retro frame Bloodstained yeah. Myers, so at least they look good. It's, to be fair, I think the retro Bloodstained Myers actually look better. They, they're, they're not as they're nostalgic. Little, they're kind of heavy handed. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. But I, I kind of like that. I'm going to cast Impulse. I'm searching for one specific card. No. Do you know what it is? Uh, Days isn't legal. Doesn't right? matter because I couldn't find it. It's Force Spike. I play four. Force Spike. <laughs> Nasty. Yeah. Um. So I'm probably going to lose to this Frexian Arena, but I will take this card. And that resolves. You have a <gasps> uh, Frexian Arena. That sucks. Joy. Sad for me. Good. All set. On tap draw. Now... Psychotog, this is dangerous, but I can actually keep up with the amount of cards he's going to draw pretty easily. Pass to you. On tap. Yep. Trigger the arena. Draw two. Boo. Look at that. I'm on cloud nine. We'll play a mountain. And gosh, you know, this is about as far as I thought. <laughs> I just wanted this to happen. This is all I really cared about. Staring at like six swamps. Uh, so now I got to gotta dig through what you're doing. So let's start off with a grim lava man. That's fine. That feels good. And then we'll attack you for two. Attack me for two, I take two. And let's just be so mana efficient this turn. I'd like to duress you. Ooh, hmm. Yeah, that's fine. You see a second accumulated knowledge in a land. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get that gush out of here. The gush is gone. You done? Yeah. All right, I'll tap for two. I'm gonna cast accumulated knowledge. I'll look at my graveyard and see I have no copy, so I'll draw one card. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cast Accumulated Knowledge. I'll lose one to my Cephalid Coliseum. Um, I see another copy of Accumulated Knowledge, so I'll draw two. Mm -hmm. On tap. And draw again. That was the worst duress of my life. <laughs> hey, just remember I have this polluted... There you go. That's oh, how you wow. can remember. Um, let's see here. I think that I want to... I want I want to... I want Paschetti. You're just going to pass the turn. I'm not... I want to do this while you can't, in response, activate your man land. Yeah. I'm going to Diabolic Edict you. Yeah. Pass to you. On tap. Arena. Yep. Draw. Draw. Um, well, shit, dude. This is all I've ever wanted to do. Oh, yeah! Here's is it a Blazing Spectre? Yeah. I have a response. <laughs> I will, uh... <coughs> I'm not gonna fetch yet, actually. I'll tap for two and lose a life. I'm go You know what? No. My life is really important. I will fetch. I'm losing the life anyway, but that's... I get a permanent piece of mana in exchange. Here's an island. I'm going to tap for two. I'm going to cast Impulse. Continuing my search. I think this is the one. The one where I find Force Spike. I, the world can only hope. Just put that card on Here's top the on impulse. the bottom. One, it's two, the fourth card. I'm so mad. three. Five, I didn't find it. Damn. Rats. I'll put this in my hand. These in the bottom. You have a Blazing Spectre. Oh my god. All right. So this is a four mana, two, two, hippie with haste. Yep. Except instead of at random, um, I get to choose my discard. I will respond to yes. the ability. Yeah, you get to I'm going to opt. Force spike. I'll discard Mistress Factory. Good. Yeah. All right. On tap and draw. Ooh. Okay. 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 We have to do things. I'm panicking. Here's Psychotog. There he is. Um, <laughs> math time. Uh, yeah. Uh, I won't. I'm not going to tell you. Pass to you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, remove how many cards to do it? Two from the graveyard to give it plus one plus one to end of turn. All right. Uh, right now we have four, eight, twelve. So you can give him plus so six. You can, can attack for seven currently. And eight, nine, ten is the max. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Because I've got a Cephalid Coliseum in play. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bad man. You better kill it. You better have Terminate. Or just like leave up a blocker. Yeah, you can't smother this. So that's kind of... I uh, I actually can't deal with a Resolve Blazing Spectre in my main board, I don't think. So you, you have two cards in hand? Two. I don't know any of you them. You know none. I don't have access to Black Mana right now either. It's and a little you, sketch. So you can deal 13 to me? With no knowledge, with yes. no knowledge, and then I take... 
one more, so I'd be down to three. Yeah. If, if I you, ever gain access it, to a gush, it's just straight yeah, up. If you legal. draw any cards, I die. Yeah. Or an accumulated knowledge also kills you, I think. So here's what I think. I think we got to pass. pass. I'm scared. Pass? Okay. I keep I keep thinking about like if he attacks, I'll exile three cards from a graveyard to give it flying, but that's psychic frog, so nope. I can talk can't do that. No nope. twelve return. <laughs> okay. Um let's just let our gold creatures hang out. They do they do be hanging out. I'm going to start. Starting. I just lied to you. I'm I'll start nothing. I will attack for one though. <laughs> <laughs> you sick fuck. Yeah. Um block. Kill it. You would like to kill it. Oh. Tap for two? Yeah. Gush. Is that cool? That's cool. Cool. One, two. With my two mana floating, fact or fiction. Yeah. Cool. One. So I would have totally two, died three, <laughs> if I had a block. Four, five. Split those into piles for me, please. Two face up piles. Yeah, you would have absolutely died. <laughs> so I can take this pile or this pile? Yeah. Give me that accumulated knowledge, please. You These can three can it. go to the bin. This is going to go to the bin. So you're bolting it, and I have three toughness. Mm -hmm. Activate its graveyard ability three times, so now I have six toughness total. You got it. All right, kill the dude. Main phase two. I get a land drop still. Did you know that when you cast Gush, you have a lot of lands in your hand? Uh, we'll do an island. Go ahead. Trigger. Yep. 16. Okay. You have two mana up. I do have you, two mana up. You naughty man. Psychotog so much fun. If you've never played Psychotog and you like Psychic Frog, play Psychotog. That resolves. What do we want? Oh, Is it Insidious Dreams time? Insidious Dreams? That resolves. Oh boy. Um, well, I, I do have to discard, discard as an additional cost. Yep. Uh, so we'll definitely do Lightning Bolt and I think I'm going to die. <laughs> if this doesn't work, so we'll go for the other Insidious Dreams. That's good. Are you going to put the card Erratic Explosion and Draco on top of your deck? You don't have to tell me, but you know. That, you it's exactly what's happening. Yeah. He's trying to kill That's like the worst wink of my life. I sure hope you have a Terminate in your hand, man. Um. Uh, Otherwise, you're just dead on board. Is this before you draw off of Brex Chain or no? Oh, that's what I should have done. Do you want to say you did? Oh my god, that. Did you already have it? Because then you can set it up. I did already have it. I didn't have the Dark Rit. Oh, okay. I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah, have yeah. either Dark Rit. I would have had it, to tap It wouldn't four. have worked then. You would have had to like pass with all your mana tapped then. That wouldn't work. You don't have to show me. Like We know the, what you're the, doing, but you don't have to show me. You, I know that you know. <laughs> yeah. The camera should know. One of the matchups we may be playing today might have something to do with a diff, totally different Draco deck. If you want to see more Draco decks, I don't know if they, they let me have two cards in one video, so it might be in the description. But Chris and I played, uh, I played Grixis Draco Blast, which is a dedicated Draco Blast combo deck. Very fun. So I think I actually have to discard three cards. So you can get a Duress and put that on top. So that... Because I'm going to draw two on my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you don't draw your Draco. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Discard to scroll rack. And that means you can get duress as well, right? To check for permission. Exactly. Smart. Right. Bing, bang. So everything said, one Insidious Dreams in your main phase. After a Dark Rit to stack three cards on top of your deck, discarding three cards. Dark Rit? Dark Rit is fine. Blocker. Blazing Spectre. Circular Logic. Discard it to the Psychotog. Game two. I want to... Let's show... People... Yeah, yeah, People yeah, might yeah, have yeah, not yeah. seen this yet. So wait, Psychotog doesn't go to the graveyard. All right, on tap, draw. <laughs> Here's how he dies. Um, I can actually make it even easier. Island, attack for one. He declares no blocks because there's nothing going on. Accumulated knowledge, draw three. There's a four spike when I, <laughs> that, when I don't need it. Accumulated knowledge, draw four. Okay, so one plus one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen is sixteen. One plus fifteen is sixteen. Blam! But I'll make it twenty. Why not? <laughs> All right, sweet game. Game two. Dang it! Cyborg time. Okay, we figured out what we're doing for cyborg. Um, it looks like we both. No, we have not agreed to a seven for seven. I went six for six. Guy went seven for seven. Since we're the deck that is this, the series is based around, I'll go first. I'm cutting four four spikes, and that is purely because we are on the draw. 
Uh, four spike is great. It's it's four spike. It's the thing, you know, when they printed sensor and everyone's like, it's a four spike. This is the card that they're referring to. It's awesome, but on the draw, it's just not as good. Then I'm trimming a circular logic because it relies on my graveyard and most decks, especially ones in black, have ways to deal with graveyards. And um, I'm probably going to lose if he deals with my graveyard anyway, but I don't want to lean into it by playing too many circular logics. I'm also trimming an opt just because uh, it's opt. It's like a card you trim. Yeah. Um, then I'm playing three hydroblasts. Uh, he only plays like a small handful of red cards. One of them is Pyroblast, <laughs> and I need to be able to like fight the Pyroblast so my Psychotogs live. Then I might take these out on the draw since Force Spike comes back in, but I'm going to bring in three Duress just to uh, stop him from having Terminate when I want to cast Psychotog or having like an erratic explosion in his hand. Those things all sound bad. Or like, I don't know, having a Pyroblast. So it's a really simple thing, but this isn't modern. This is pre-modern. So the sideboard texts tend to be um, incredibly intuitive and simple to understand. What about you? Yeah, so as, as you might have seen in the first game, Lightning Bolt is not doing anything. No. Um, so we're siding all four of those out. And like Adrian said, we're bringing in Pyroblast. It destroys blue permanents and counters blue spells. Mm -hmm. We love that. The only way I have to kill you is a blue permanent. Exactly. So that's pretty exactly. good. Um, and we're bringing in some graveyard hate in the form of Tormod's Crypt and Planar Void. And because we're bringing that in, uh, the Grim Lava Mancer's got to go. Yeah. I'm not going to have a graveyard. He's, the Tormod's Crypt one doesn't one. bother you at all, but the Planar Void, like, it's a nambo, like, crazy. Yeah. So. Also, it's just, like, I don't think it's that important in this matchup. Yeah, no, I agree. It's not bad. My deck, it, it's funny because when you look at the, both these decks, you would think that like, okay, the blue player is the control deck. But my deck is, it turns the corner much faster than most decks. Like when I go mm -hmm. for it, it comes out of nowhere. Your deck actually like, you play more on the board interaction than I do. So I think you need to lean into that a little bit more because all you have to do to Psychotog to win the game is stop Psychotog from being able to kill you. And yeah. eventually you'll be able to resolve a 1-1 one, one and attack with it 20 <laughs> times or something. Like it is that simple. All right. And Guy lost game one, putting him on the play. Yay. Go to five. <laughs> Go to five. I'm, I'm really good at going to five. Mm -mm. Okay. This is a keep. I've got uh, three lands, four spells. Yeah. Every day. Ah. Eh, but, it's pretty modern. How fast could the game go? <laughs> no, this is great. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Term, this is amazing. Got it. Turn one hit me. Uh, Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, we'll go for our Sulfur Springs. Yeah. Uh, we're going to lose one. That's not good for me. We're going to cast a Dark Ritual. And right, I will Force of Will, dude, which is not legal. We're, we're going to cast a turn one hippie. There he and is. And feel really good about ourselves. Good. Yeah. Draw. Oh, fuck me. Um, let's go with the... Dum, uh, dum, dum, dum. Here's a Polluted Delta. Go ahead. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, let's play nothing and just go straight into combat and do it. I'll take two. Trigger. Uh, Any card you want. You can just pick. They're I all face just, down I for you. Just pick one? This one. This one? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, cool. Whoa. <laughs> That's great. Uh, sorry, Mike. <laughs> we'll play a mountain and um, let's lose another life. Yeah. And play Planar Void. <sighs> yeah. Ooh, That's yay. good. I guess I'll fetch in response so it stays in my graveyard for this island, but planar void resolves. Oh, it doesn't exit. It does, the yeah, it doesn't have a trigger like rest in peace. Very, I don't think. Very important to play. No, it does not, you're right. Yeah. It's whenever a card is put into a graveyard. Is that it? That's that's all I got. <sighs> okay, well pass to you. <gasps> oh, we're in it. This is bad. Oh yeah. Um, this is tough. We'll play a Bloodstained Mire and go into combat. Yeah, edict you. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Exiled. Um, Go ahead. Oh, on tap. Draw. All right, my new plan is to, if at some point, draw Mishra's Factory. Here is an Underground River. I'll tap it for black and cast one of my cyborg cards, Duress. <gasps> you get an explosion. I'm going to take the explosion. <laughs> go ahead. And I've got a land and a Blazing Specter. Well, Sick. Um, May as well crack at oh, the yeah. end of your turn. This gets exiled. You know what? This is my graveyard. My graveyard's up here now. Okay. That way I can remember to, because I keep trying to put cards in my graveyard because I forget that planar void's there. I just have one. My graveyard doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, so we'll draw for turn. Um, we'll play a Tainted Peak, and it works now. Yeah. Like one, one nice thing about playing Black Red is you get the uh, the Tainted Cycle. There's a Tainted Land for every color pairing, and a Tainted Peak and Tainted Field. Uh, the black, white one are the most common ones. Yes. I can't play my Tainted Lands because I don't have nearly enough swamps. I'm mostly swamps. Um, you, yeah. <laughs> Blaze Inspector into Mana Leak. Okay. Good. Ah, uh, fuck. Am I allowed to swear? Uh, we try not to do the F word in here, but I don't fucking that care was, that, that was much. The, that was the fug word. Fu fu 
Bessie. <laughs> Fungus. And it's only because, like, Susan's progenitus is watching or something. All right. Accumulated knowledge. Oh, yeah. Big, no Bowmasters here. Big think. All right. Exiled. This is my exile. Untap draw. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is high octane. <laughs> Good. Here's a Tormod script. Yeah. Think why about not? think about that. Draw. No. <laughs> Psychotog. <laughs> Go. <laughs> why not? I'll uh, just play it. Draw. Oh. Well, I'm really happy to see that you're nice and tapped out. Uh oh. Yep. Here's here's an uh oh. Yeah, it's an uh oh. Oh yeah. We're, we're we're coming in. One two. I get to discard a card of my choice. Yeah. Funeral charm. Good. I'll say go. I'll tap and draw. You have two cards in the bin? Let's blast Hydro Blast your Blazing Spectre. No! All right, let's start. One. No blocks. Go ahead. Dink. I only got to do that 16 more times. Untap. Yep. Uh, you know what? At the end of your turn, crack my uh, crit. Make it three power. Yeah. And then this... Or two power. Is going in the yeah, going in the exile. Draw. Or you know what? You, had the, you took one more. I'll just exile the two to make my second talk bigger on attack. Since you can just always do that. Right. It affects your bottom line this much. <laughs> uh, let's go for a, a kind of risky play, but we got to get out. We got to get moving. Here's an arena. No. Big I'll no. I'll lose two life. Good. I'll say go. I'll tap and draw. My hand's really bad right now. Attack for one. Uh, yeah. Just one. Go ahead. Doink. My hand is... Uh, that hippie hippie man this cir circular logic looks real dumb <laughs> this isn't a replacement effect is it the card's put to a graveyard remove that card from the game is that a trigger doesn't matter you have three mana up so the circular logic isn't good that's fine good untap draw <gasps> land uh oh factor fiction time attack so you, you just have to pitch one card to do it yeah to make it a two power creature when you have four in hand four so you could gush if i have a gush it's gonna get nasty no matter what no blocks fact or fiction oh yeah all right knowledge counter spell land 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 so this is i haven't taken damage yet you haven't taken any damage yet piles are like that hmm yes i'm gonna take this pile and put these in exile and then you're not blocking, so I will uh, make it two. I'll pitch circular logic to Psychotog. Bring you to 12 and pass. To 12. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Cards in hand? I have four. Four. What if you had three? Sick. Don't need it anyway. No, you don't. Is that it? Yeah. Untap. Draw. Hmm. Attack you. No blocks. Pitch. And that's it. Take two. Ten. Pass to you. Untap. Upkeep. Draw combat to this one Aww. counter spell no he's got two i can i know it i can smell it i don't have well accumulated knowledge oh yeah yep that's good go on tap draw impulse i'll take that card is it a smother could be could be a card could be, could be a playable card attack and here we are again <laughs> <laughs> trying you, to figure out just if I can to pitch, 10 damage you together. just have to pitch one card to kill a hippie yeah, to exactly. kill a hippie so I, I gotta take it float blue oh fuck gush yep one two take six yeah go oh boy <laughs> oh geez <laughs> yeah wait seven wait play this land there we go I figured it out you got two hippies so holding cards doesn't make any sense yeah go for it draw okay do I, get, do I gotta make, bring you down to one? Does it matter? Because if you if you draw a gush, you can't cast. I it. can't cast it. I don't have enough islands. What could you draw for three mana? Three mana. Nothing. Nothing. I think I'm just dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just I don't have any cards to discard. Go ahead. All right. Draw. That will do it. <laughs> you don't say that, man. I'm dead. That's <laughs> gush. <laughs> All right, I'll be on the play for game three. Uh, for anyone wondering, I will be making some changes. I'm going to cut those duresses, and I'm going to bring back in uh, my four spikes just because they're better on the play. I don't think my sideboard changes at all. No, I, just, I, I agree with you. All right, me play. Good luck. Oh, one other thing I did do. Uh, there were only three duresses. There are four on the sideboard, but I only brought three in. I also took out one of my Hydro Blasts because four spikes just going to have so much more utility on the play. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing six, changed over here. Seven. That's a lot of lands. <laughs> but you know what? I'll keep it. I can't always. 
I think, yeah, the Draco in the opener is bad. I, uh, I still probably lose to a certain line from Guy, but, like, I can't farm for uh, the thing that doesn't, so I'll keep. Do you, th- do you think this is a, a bad matchup for, for your deck, or? I think game one, it's really good. I think game one, like, you probably can't win usually, but I think once you have, like, ways to hate my graveyard out, it gets way harder. Yeah. Plus, Pyroblast is, like, big, big, big game in this matchup. Like, it's huge. Because you, you can't really remove a Planar Void once it's down. No. There's, like, technically Boomerang's a card that people have played in the past, but it's not very good. No. Looks great. It looks awesome, but the card's doo-doo. I love that red man. All right. Some some Psychotog decks do play um, in the sideboard one to two copies of uh, Powder Keg. <laughs> Now, what, remind me, what does that one do again? It's Ratchet Bomb, but really bad. Bad Ratchet Bomb. Yep. Well, speaking of bad, I got to pitch one of these. Yeah. Ew. Good. <laughs> no. Let's go for that one. Oh, I'm okay. ready. All right. I will play an island. Go ahead. Draw. I'll play a Bloodstained Mire. Yeah. And pass. Draw. It's happening. He didn't turn one and hit me. <laughs> go ahead. It's going to be a great game, Adrian. It's gonna, I'm gonna cast a couple spells at the very least. You're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be safe. Let's get a let's get a mountain. Not, that's legal. Why not? That. They're in there. From Brian Deree. This is the portal. Is that a portal? I think. Mm. Who knows? Yeah. This is this is portal second age. I think. I'm not doing it with that mountain. I'll draw. We'll go for a uh, swap, and I'll say go. Hmm. Hmm. Knowledge. It's power. Yeah, it sure is. Draw. On tap. Draw. Island pass. Oh boy. Doing blue things. Draw. Um, let's go for Tainted Peak. Yep. Play our quick little dual land here. And I want to feed you something. What do I want to feed you? I am hungry. <laughs> so hungry. I'm so, such a hungry boy. Would you like to interact with this hippie? Yeah, I would. Um, How do I want to do is the question. Let's go ahead and opt. Yes. I would like to force spike your hippie. Ew. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have another force spike? No. <laughs> you can have a Tormod script. That's fine. Yay. Good? Uh, yeah. On tap. Draw. Oh, we'll go with a land and pass. Uh, it's another island. Tap. Check out those uh, those foil islands over there. I be having good pre-modern I'm, basics. I'm a little jealous. I didn't have the... I wasn't willing to throw throw the cash around for that. At first, it didn't cost money. No. It, no. People, yeah, back in the day, back, I remember. Like, like eight years quarters. ago, no one knew that they were, even when we bought them for quarters, they were like, they were more expensive. No stores are paying attention to the prices of foil land. So it was like, and oh. they're just like, yeah, they're all, they're all foil basics, exactly. whatever. Um, dog. <laughs> it's bad over here. It's, it's great. I'm doing great. <laughs> Accumulated knowledge. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a choice to make. It, it, this ain't it. Get your, <laughs> get your candy. Draw man. two. One, two. Accumulated knowledge. Oh, how God. about now? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, draw three. <laughs> this Tormod's crypt is going to save my <laughs> life. This is a pressure <laughs> release valve. It's true. It is. It will. It does like fall. It gains ten life. Draw for turn. All right. Funny, I have not drawn a black source yet. I don't think I it? need it yet. No. Um, that is eight cards. I need to do something. Don't want to do anything. Dang it. See, so, yeah, I can draw. I could, I could cast opt and force spike my own opt. That way I don't have to discard my force spike. That is a line. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and go to discard. Yeah. I'm going to pitch this force spike. I don't think it's very good anymore. No. Go ahead. Ugh. Draw. Um, let's play a swamp. Mm-hmm. And I'll say go. I'm going to impulse. You got it. Are you a swamp? No. Are you a swamp? No. Are you a swamp? No. Are you a swamp? I'm mad. Um, take I'll ball. take that card. No. Hmm. Is it time to grab my... Psychotog, maybe take that card. Untap, draw. It's kind of like a swamp. <laughs> Mistress Factory. <laughs> no. Except for it's not a swamp. No. Go ahead. I'll start attacking with this. I guess. That's. I hate that. Um. Hey, Mistress Factory. Aw. Uh, do something. <laughs> My deck doesn't do anything if you don't. <laughs> Factor Fiction. Yeah. This will be easy. Smother. Impulse. Psychotog. Uh-huh. Swamp. Uh huh. Circular Logic. Right, 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 right. Oh, God. For each card in your graveyard. Interesting. Uh, well, what if... Is this the pile? Yeah. Okay, I'll take the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait a second. That's four I'll cards. I'll take this, this pile. <laughs> Screw it. All right, swamp goes to the bin. I'll tap for two at your end step still. Impulse. Yeah. 
Oops, I'll take this card. <laughs> on tap. <laughs> That's so many cards in my hand. Draw. Swamp. Secret, I'm just going to deck them. Could be. Sh Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Yeah. Is that cool? That's cool. Go to discard. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pitch Circular Logic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's coming. Psychotog and Cephalic Coliseum. Go ahead. Wait, doesn't that have like a threshold? Oh, that's not going to. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. No. Um, there's that. And boy, howdy, you have all that mana. And all those cards. All those cards. I went to discard and only one of them was a land. <laughs> I think I have to... Do I have to preemptively crack this crypt in case you... No, because if, if you play uh, Circular Logic, I can crack my crypt in response. In response, yep. Don't think that guy is allowed to live. He's got to go. I'd like him to live, though. He's living. Counterspell the Terminate. Yes. Uh, let's try casting two spells. Here's a Phyrexian Arena. Yeah, another one. Another one. <laughs> that it. That will do it. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. All right. Um. Dum, dum, dum. Wake up, daddy. Three. Three's good. All right, trigger the uh, Finkel. Draw mm -hmm. card. Land for turn as an island. Psychotog. Psychotog. Go ahead. God, this stinky guy. He's, uh, he's here. Oh, untap and draw. Uh, we are, we are cooking. <laughs> land. <laughs> here I'm cooking a, a land stew. <laughs> You're gonna love it. I'll pass. Cast more spells. Well, oh, wait, I can't pass. Yeah, crack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you were like, pass. I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> for <laughs> sure, for sure. <laughs> you got sure. it. All right. I already drew, I think. I did. <clears throat> Attack. I would like to wake up my factory. I would like to smother your it's factory. dead as fuck. Uh, yeah. You would like to move to blocks? You have none? I have none. Okay. I'm spread eagled. You have two in hand? Oh, yeah. Okay, take four. One, I'll draw two, her. Three, four. Go ahead. Oh, fuck yeah. Play my land for turn. <laughs> Cards in hand? Five. Five. <laughs> so many. It's so many. Also, go. On tap. Draw. Hiya. Yeah. Wake up Foundry and attack. I'll take four. All right, before damage. No. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Fact or fiction? Yeah. Cool. Hydroblast, island. Land, land, land. Cards in hand? I have five. Five. So uh, you can go... There's at least two damage there, and then... So every card in my... Here's a... Welcome to Psychotog Math with Neon Mushroom. When do, doing Psychotog Math, the quick and easy way to do it is every card in your hand is worth 1.5 points of damage, and every card in your graveyard is worth 0.5 points of damage. The reason is, is because every card in your hand is an initial damage when you discard it, and then it's half of what you need to give it another damage. So... 5 is actually 5 plus 2.5. This is 7.5 points of damage all on its own. And I have another 0.5 here, so it's a total of 8. That math is dumb, though, because there's these cards that we haven't taken into account yet from the Factor Fiction. Oh, also, this Factor Fiction does wind up in here. I want to be honest, I'm just taking the bigger pile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put those in my hand. These in the bin. Okay, before damage, I will. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In response? Yes. Dark dark ritual. Yeah. Yes. I'm got down. it. Sweet. I have the super logic, but I've also got funeral charm. Funeral charm, put it up on the screen, me. Good job, me. Um, it it does everything this deck wants. I love these little charms. Oh, yeah. Um, in this matchup, it gives my Psychotog Swamp Walk. You guys probably noticed, Ooh. how does that Psychotog get in? There's a copy of Wonder in my deck that can be pitched to the Psychotog oh, to get right. all my creatures flying. And also Funeral Charm can uh, give it Swamp Walk. Also Funeral Charm is a uh, rat. It's discard a card at instant speed. And it yeah. also gives a creature plus two minus one. So it's like a turbo Psychotog it's, activation. It's really it does, it does a little bit deck. of everything. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Psychotog, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I, I haven't solidified anything and I'm actually coming up with this plan in real time on camera. 
Um, the next pre-modern game, I am going to go ahead and put out for you guys. Uh, just to see, just to see, see what you guys want to see. See if you guys are interested. Check out how the views do. Um, definitely leave comments, feedback, which you want to see in this format in general. And um, in the future, we might do, you know, this deck plays three different matchups and I'll release the first one public and the second two to patrons. Um, it could be that I release two and one's patron exclusive. But regardless, um, this is... Pre-modern is one of my favorite formats, but the internet doesn't like it as much. So let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely interested in feedback. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, commit tax fraud. Tax fraud. Tax fraud. You should uh, put a link to the pre-modern website. Oh, yeah. There's a link to the pre-modern website. In the description. Yeah.